Um, so I'm actually the events and marketing officer, but this evening I'm going to be feeding the swans. So I'm going to be doing the swan talk and then going out and throwing some grain out for our swans and our potchard ducks too. <laughs> Maz Two's here researching a book. Uh, he's just happens to have popped by. It, will it be possible for him to see, see uh, like are you doing some feeding now? Yeah, of course it would. Yeah, that's no problem at all. We're just about to do the talk and the feed. Right, so hopefully everyone can hear me in the hive. Um, so we've got two of the three species of swan out here. We've got the mute swans, which are right in front of us, nice and clearly to see. They've got a nice orange bill. They're the largest of the swans we see here in the UK. All three of our species of swan that are native here to the UK are white in plumage. Um, so it's really just sort of the bill and the body size that you're going on for identifying them. Um, so these mute swans, they'll stay on the reserve all year round. And the other two species of swan that we get here on the ooze washes are the poopy swan and the buick swan. Um, now both these species of swan have yellow and black bills. Um, they, so they are quite similar to the untrained eye. Um, there's a couple of ways to tell them apart. Um, one of which is that the buick swan is about a third smaller than the hoopy swan. So there is a size difference. The um, sort of other way usually to tell them apart is to look at the bill pattern. So on these guys right in front of us, which are Buick, uh, sorry, Hooper swans, um, what you're looking for, if you look at the head side on, you've got a nice triangular wedge of yellow and the tip of the bill is black. Whereas with Buick swans, you've got more of a rounded blob of yellow right at the base of the bill and the black goes a lot further up. So even just the other side of Christmas, in December, we had about seven or eight hundred Buick swans in the area. So numbers have really jumped up over the Christmas period when we had that cold snap. 